If you live and drive in Coeur d'Alene, this is probably something you've experienced before. Sitting in your car on Northwest Boulevard or Ramsey near I-90 and waiting at a red light for what seems like an eternity at times. The good news, a fix is on the way and the city hopes that by taking control of these lights, they'll be able to make improvements. Before getting to downtown Coeur d'Alene, you'll have to get through this. An urban traffic jungle by North Idaho standards. One that drivers and people working along Northwest Boulevard know well. Especially trying to make left turns can be really scary. Each day, an average of 32,000 cars and trucks use the popular street. There's a series of traffic lights from the Croc Center to Riverstone. Lights that aren't necessarily up to snuff. Yeah, I definitely have had some long waits at red lights. I think it's just like... Obviously, they kind of out of they seem out of sync. She's not alone. The city of Coeur d'Alene says these lights aren't synchronized as well as they could be. That's due to some detection equipment that started to fail. A city engineer tells me I had a long red light wait myself like this, where there wasn't much traffic at the intersection at the time. It can be annoying for sure, especially when you get honked at. If you're like trying to make a left turn and it's a yellow light or there's a whole bunch of traffic coming like that. So to fix that, the city says it will be taking control of the traffic signals from the Idaho Transportation Department. ITD has traditionally controlled the lights. From there, city crews will be able to better sync the lights themselves, hopefully providing for a better flow of cars. The changes will happen between Lakewood Drive at Riverstone and Golf Course Road by the Croc Center. It's something that the city has been talking with ITD about for years and will hopefully mean fewer frustrated drivers. That's just really my biggest pet peeve is getting honked at. The city expects the transition to take place sometime later this summer or fall. In Coeur d'Alene, Taylor Vido, Cram 2 News.